Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. We're building a Lego Friends set today. This one's one of the new ones, which is very exciting. This is Lego Friends Emma's Art Studio. And well, we're just gonna, we're gonna have to build it and see what's inside. But I am very, very excited because there's an interesting new feature in this and we're not gonna come to it until close to the end, but well, you're gonna have to stick around and see what it is. So let's get it all open. We'll get all the pieces out. You know, the drill, you've been here before. You know how this all works. We got stickers, we got a book, we got the bags, and we've got the mini dolls. So let's meet them first. First up, I well, this is going to be Emma. So this is Emma in uh, whew, quite a fancy top. Is that two necklaces that are? I don't know that those two kinds of necklaces are designed to go together, but maybe she just loves stacking necklaces. And we've also got Andrea in this set, and she's got a ooh, look at that. There's tassels on that. Or oh, fringe. That's not tassels. That's fringe. Gold fringe. Whoa. Okay, so she's got a fancy new top as well. I <laughs> can't get over that gold fringe. It's so nice. Okay, so we have got Emma and we've got Andrea. High five, girls, because we are opening up the art studio. Oh, come on. You don't need to fall over. It's not that exciting. Or maybe it is. <laughs> I think it's quite exciting. All right, so... Ooh. This is a new way to stand up a sign. I've never made a sign with this sort of uh, building design before. So we are putting on a sticker that says 8 p.m. This is when, is this when the, no, I was about to say, is this when the actual art studio opens? No, this is when the art show is going to happen. And Chico, oh, hold on, Chico's here. Hey, Chico, I almost forgot you were in the set. So Chico's in the set too. And Chico's also quite excited. And I'm sure Chico is going to uh, be responsible for all sorts of interesting forms of mischief as we go along. So let's start building the art studio and see how it all goes together one brick at a time. So we've already made what is going to be the entryway to the art studio and it looks like it's actually going to have quite a teeny tiny playing area or living space because well, it's not really living space so actual floor plan area in the back there and because we're already putting on walls so this here is a nice big sticker of all the things that you can buy at the art studio shop downstairs so we've got paintbrushes we've got paints we've got pencils different colored pencils they're all neatly arranged there on the wall in a form that is never going to get untidy aka a sticker and on the door we have no stickers ah, fancy that so this door goes here and that's how everyone's going to get in obviously and the window goes next to it we're going to need lots of nice light and this sticker is a great big mural which has been signed by Emma and it's of a cat. It's a purple cat, so it can't possibly be Chico. It could be Chico's purple incarnation or impressions of Chico in purple. Could be, could be anything really. Could be the cat that just wandered off down the road that we didn't actually see. Okay, we're already lining the top of the actual room here. So this is actually not a very complex build for the room itself. Let's see what else we have got. We've got a little sign with a sticker on it. So that's our art shop sticker, or our art studio sticker. And outside is a quaint little fire hydrant. <laughs> oh, that's really, really cute. And oh, okay, we need another sign with the art studio sticker on either side of it. I love this ornate sign plate. It's so, so pretty. And it's sitting there on the side of the building on the inside. First part of the furniture is a little curved something. Oh, it's going to be the front counter. So this has got a cash register on it and $100 because art supplies are not cheap. They're not cheap. And, uh, and Chico is now coming in here. And I think that Andrea might be in charge of the shop while Emma gets to hang out in the studio. That's what I'm going to pretend anyway. And here we have got a whole heap of art supplies and a watery drop. <laughs> a water thing. Would you buy a water thing for rinsing your brush? Well, there's a place here for the scissors as well. We've got some different types of paints. And this little part here, this little component is designed to pop on and off. So you can pull it out and Emma can use it for maybe painting her mural around the side. That's a plan. Okay, little pink awning over the window. And we're almost done with the bottom floor of this art studio. Except there are some... There are some pictures here that I'm going to assume 
uh, done by Emma. This one's cute. It's got lots of little different expressions on the heart. It's a, it's a little heart plant with lots of expressions. That's my interpretation anyway. That's how I'm interpreting the art. I'm just going to shove them a little bit further up the stick so that they're a bit better spaced. And they are on display in the shop. And we are up to bag number two. So let me see. Oh, this is the bag that Emma actually came out of. And here is her paintbrush. And here is her art palette. So Andrea came in the first bag forgot to tell you that so I've actually pinched <laughs> I pinched Emma out of the next bag and she's busy painting Chico Chico's gonna be a green cat by the looks of it and we're gonna get started on the next floor there's not a lot in this little art studio on the bottom floor anyway on the shop but there's not a lot of space either we're gonna have to look at it all the way at the end and see how it all turns out we've got a moving component here which as you know makes me very exciting this one just goes round and round and round and we've got to get all of our walls in here. There's a bit more building going on on the wall level. A few flowers on the front. I'm assuming it's front. It's going to be the front. It's totally going to be the front. Can't be the back because the back has to be open so that we can play in it. So that's a pretty good assumption to make. We're alternating the bricks there. I do love the brickwork and the colours. And these windows... Now, where have I seen these windows with the big ones on the bottom and the little ones on the top? Oh, the performance school. So this has got an interesting kind of architecture, like an old apartment building, which has been repurposed into an art studio and an art shop. It's really, really cute. Oh, I like this sticker too, with all of the foliage there on the side, the climbing plant growing out of the cracks in the brickwork and a bit of graffiti there. I think I saw a little love heart there with Emma's initial with somebody else. I wonder who that could be. Some purple columns up the side. And I really, really like this. The colours and the textures and the alternating bricks. It's just really, really quaint. It's a gorgeous little old style apartment building. Okay, inside we have got these little parts here that are going on either side of our moving component and this here is looking an awfully lot reminiscent of the sculpture piece from Emma's Deluxe Bedroom from last year. Yes, yes, it is almost identical setup there. We've got the turning part and now we've got a teeny tiny sculpture man there and a paint pot and but it looks like there's little plaster. You know how you get those little plaster figurines that you can paint in the shop and then take them home? That's what it looks like. Maybe there's going to be a whole heap of different plaster figurines that you can come to the art studio and paint and then take it home. And here's your cutest little pots of paint all in different colours. They're all lined up under the window. It just, it's just a charming little art studio. Heading up further, further, further because we need to take... We need to take advantage of every little piece of available space here because it is a very, very small footprint, very small area to actually be working in. We've got some edgy bits to stop everybody from falling off, maybe, because it looks like we are going to be building some sort of working area upstairs as well. Got some fencing pieces on, pretty lattice work fencing pieces, and a little bit of extra greenery has probably escaped from that sticker on the side, a bit more of that foliage that's been growing up the side of the wall. Here we've got a cushion. That's a really pretty cushion print on that. And a table with a mug and some sort of very plain biscuit. This is the second time I've seen this plain biscuit in the Lego Friends sets this year. Mia's house also had just a plain biscuit piece. Are we not printing biscuit pieces anymore? That would make me very sad. But we could pretend that's anything. Anything at all. <laughs> Actually, any number of things. Okay, let me see what we have got here. It looks interesting. Oh, it's the easel. It's totally an easel because Emma needs an easel to put her painting work on. And it looks as though it's ready, so let's take it and put it into the art studio. It sits over here on this little jumper stud. It's not very sturdy there. But this, in this little box, is a brand new component, a brand new thing that we haven't seen so far in a LEGO Friends set. If we add water to this, we should see a design. So let me go and get my water, and we will brush it delicately onto the piece. And absolutely... Nothing happens. Let's turn it over and we'll try the other side. I, I, I think I might have. Oh, there we go. In fact, it's beating up on the top. It's covered in footprints, in paw prints. <laughs> I don't think this is Emma's artwork. 
I really don't think this is Emma's artwork. I think this is Chico. I totally think that Chico has just stomped all over this after playing in the paint and then run away. Yep, that's what is going on. And Emma is horrified because canvases are really expensive. But that's so cute, isn't it? And when it dries up, the footprints will all go away again. Maybe we should tell Emma that. Or we could actually turn it over and she could just paint on the other side. That's so adorable. Oh, she might be able to paint those footprints into something like a special sort of doodle or a squiggly thing that incorporates the footprints. But let's put this up here on the top. And it, ah, oh, it's just, it's charming. It really is very, very quaint and charming. It's old schooly. It, it's in the older end of town and just gorgeous. It really is so pretty. I like this. Okay, we've got it all set up. So now we have to see if Emma is ready for the big art show tonight at 8 p.m. Here she comes. And oh, yep. Oh, she just remembered that she's got an art show tonight at 8 p.m. Hopefully uh, she'll get some things done. Oh, Chico's here and she's knocked everybody over. We'll just put them inside there. They'll sort themselves out. Here we go, Emma. I know, I know. Chico is cheeky and we're going to put both of you in separate places. So Chico up on the roof and you can eat that delicious biscuit. And Emma is going to get busy and she's going to... Wow, her paint's not working today. It's not, she's not going to be able to get that sculpture finished. So maybe onto her canvas here and, oh, who could that be? Emma's got so much work to do. Oh, we'll go and find out, but, oh, Chico's in here now. Oh dear. <sighs> but down here, Emma is uh, opening the door with her paintbrush. And she's going to leave green everywhere. Andrea's here to help Emma set up for the art show, but Emma wants to show her the mural that she's been working on, which is not part of the art show, but you know what it's like when you get really passionate about something. Meanwhile, up here, Chico is busy destroying this canvas. Oh my goodness, Chico! Oh, and Chico's just bumping all over that canvas and leaving dirty footprints everywhere. Emma is gonna be horrified. Uh oh, I think Emma's noticed. Quick run, Chico! Oh my goodness, this was going to be the prized painting of the show. Emma's devastated. I think she's going to have to go off and have a bit of a sob in the corner. But Andrea has got an idea. Andrea is a bit of an entrepreneur. So she's going to take this and she's going to get set up for the art show tonight. So here are the paintings that Emma organised before. They're looking good. And what well, she just went up, up. What's she bringing? Oh, okay, because we need a table to put, generally you have wine and cheese, but when we need a chair, but uh, but they're going to have coffee and biscuits. And she's going to put Chico's artwork out here and she's all set up. Emma is back. Oh, oh, I know. She's, oh, she is not happy that Chico's foot, oh, hold on. Hold on, here's Dottie. And Dottie has seen Chico's artwork. Dottie wants it for the new cat cafe that she's going to open up. Dottie has got plans to make a cafe with lots and lots of cats in it so people can come in and cuddle the cats. So this is going to be perfect as a feature in her new cat cafe, which I totally have to build too, by the way, and I totally plan to. So make sure you let me know in the comments if you want that to happen. There we go. Dottie is taking her new canvas away on her head and Emma is thrilled and slightly surprised. Here comes the next customer. Audrey was just wondering past and this picture here caught her eye it will be perfect for the baby's nursery so she's packed that away in the pram and whew, Emma has just earned herself another hundred dollars this is turning into quite a lucrative art show oh and here's Martin the dentist from around the corner this picture is going to look absolutely fantastic on the wall of his dental clinic. He is very happy. He's been so tired of looking at that blank wall. And look at that. Now Emma is the proud owner of $300. And Chico, well, Chico helped too. <laughs> that was so much fun. Now, if you enjoy Lego builds and just silly stuff in general, make sure you do subscribe to my channel. Check out some of my other videos and let me know what you would like me to build next. And I will be back with some new videos very, very soon. So I'll see you then. Bye.